speaking of Obama, Obama's brother has made the news again. Yeah. <laughs> brother, fill us in on that. This is this is amazing stuff, yeah. people. Barack Obama's half brother Malik Obama took to Twitter on Thursday, yesterday, to ask if Michelle Obama is actually Michael. <laughs> is Michelle <laughs> so, Michael Obama asked? Refer- so he's caught up in all of that too, huh? I mean, when I say two, we're not. No, but I mean, referring- no. No, no. He, I mean, he's referring to a conspiracy theory that the former first lady is actually a man. In fact, in 2017, Alex Jones claimed to have proof that Michelle was male. Uh, the Independent reported, uh, quote, in a 12-minute video, the InfoWars host analyzes footage and photos which he believes proves Mrs. Obama has male genitalia. Quote, since the early days of the Obama administration, citizens around the, across the board have studied videos and photos of Michelle Obama and said that she is a man. Uh, Jones said, and he goes on to say, even and even Barack Obama himself has called her over and over again, Michael. But new shock footage has emerged that is being censored off the internet as fast as you can upload it. This is uh, according to Alex Jones. It's not the first time, Carl, that well, actually, you remember Joan Rivers came out in, in an interview and said that she said uh, um, Michelle Obama is a tranny. Everybody knows it. That according to Joan Rivers, next thing you know, she winds up dead on an operating table. Yeah. Uh, so I remember does this. everybody know it, Carl? I, I, mean, I don't know it. No, but it's not I, the first time yeah. Malik has made things uncomfortable for his brother yeah. on social media. In 2017, Malik Obama tweeted an image of what appears to be Barack Obama's birth certificate. Except it's not from Hawaii; it's from Kenya. And there's a, the American Mirror is reporting on this, by the way. And, and Malik Obama he tweeted uh, this this picture of a Kenyan birth certificate with all of Barack, President Barack Obama's uh, personal information on it. Right. Uh, and he tweets, "Surely, what's this?" <laughs> <laughs> well, the document is from the Coast Province General Hospital in Mombasa, British Protectorate of Kenya, and is for Barack Hussein Obama the second, who was born on the fourth day of August. 1961, but right. but but the White House then in 2011 though, at, you know when Donald Trump was making waves about the birth certificate, the White House released uh, uh, you know the um, the Arts and Crafts project, uh, which uh, Mike Zullo and his team have have thoroughly debunked, and not only that, but uh, two forensic analysis teams from two different continents have analyzed that thing and said, no, this is a this is a fake. We know how it was created, where they got the the original document to use to create it, and uh, so on and so forth. And then, uh, of course, uh, the American Mirror has the image of the Arts and Crafts Project on their website. Right. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's the Barack Obama's own flesh and blood, <laughs> his own, his own half-brother from his father's side, and we don't even know if that's true. I mean, we just don't know. We don't know. We don't right? know we this don't guy. Know who we don't Barack know the guy. Obama is in, to this day. No, we don't. Yeah. And no, by the way, and that's by right. the and by the way, people that want to argue with us about the whole birth certificate thing, I always just say, look, we no one has ever seen a birth certificate, and then they get mad. It's on the White House. No, that's a copy of a copy <laughs> of something. And then now right, we know sure. what the something is. It's built from the ground up, and we've got affidavits from two international companies that examined it and have given affidavits. And and these people train law enforcement all over the world. They testify in the Supreme Courts of the various nations of the world. I mean, these people write books. They have manuals, training. These are not backroom conspiracy site. These are professional, renowned companies who have said, no, this is an arts and craft project. And so, but but the thing is, I want to say this before we go to break, and then we're going to come back and let you talk about some other stuff. But Mike, okay. I, I've got to say this because you and I and this show, we're always accused of saying things that we never said just because we dare to talk about things because we bring up news articles and we talk about what other people are saying then they get in the headlines of the news and say freedom friday gallup said no i didn't say that i didn't say that we were talking about it so let me just give this disclaimer i have not said you have not said freedom friday has not said that michelle obama is a man but people by the millions no. are saying it including barack obama's brother <laughs> right. and we're just reporting an article right. that came out yesterday a tweet we're just talking about it okay and i know people would say well why would you even give that credence we didn't give it credence but it's in the news, it's on Twitter, it's reported right. by the American Mirror. This is a talk show. We're going to talk about it. Okay, people? 
Okay. Right, well, right that's right. Yeah. yeah. When, when Barack Obama calls his wife Michael, and now yeah. his, bro- now well, his own know. brother is saying, is Michelle Michael or I what? I mean, we have to talk about it. I know. I know. And you know the whole thing about Kenyan birth certificate. Look, Barack Obama's publishers said that for 17 years. Right. They published Born in Kenya and Raised in Hawaii. I mean, you know, get off, get out of my face. <laughs> Folks, we'll be back in just a second. More of Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops and Mike Shoesmith. Don't go anywhere. Sharon has died aged eight. We are with one of Rabbi Kaduri's disciples. Thank you. 